Youth ministry isn't just about nurturing young people. It's about being led by their vision and their passion. As the United Church's team leader for faith formation and mission, Amy Crawford supports youth and young adult ministry. I caught up with her to talk about why this work is so important. So good to have you here, Amy. So I would love to start with just a bit of an overview in terms of what is the United Church of Canada doing when it comes to youth and young adults? I actually think that our youth ministry in the United Church in many ways has grown. We took it for granted that young people and children were going to be in the church and we can't take that for granted anymore. Um, they're here because they choose to be, and they're here because they find a place for themselves here. We've really expanded in many ways the ministry that we do um, focused on youth, young adults, and children. The three events, the national events of Rendezvous, Youth Forum at General Council, and Camping Connections are relatively new. Um, in the life of the General Counsel Office. The Vision Fund, it has been around for many decades, but we expanded it just a few years ago to include flourishing ministries and to include bursaries. So we've expanded that. The Youth for Peace Global Trips, that is a fairly new initiative. 2011, I believe, was our first. So we've, we've expanded our ministry in many ways. I'm so grateful for everyone who gives to MS and the ways that they bring a sense of welcome, a sense of Christ's love, and a sense of uh, justice into the lives of young people. What calls you to youth and young adult ministry? Well, I, I think um, probably my own upbringing, my own childhood and teenage years. My faith and the church were so important in my life and the life of my family. And I just, I really want that positive experience of, you know, a relationship with the divine as well as a relationship with the church um, for, for young people even still today. And if there was one thing that you wanted other people to know about from your experiences about youth and young adult ministry, what would that one thing that you'd want people that maybe they don't know about to, to really get about the kind of ministry that's being done? For me, it, it really, it feeds my soul. Um, I feel that and, and there is actually um, research done on this that young people often are um, more real in their spiritual life. They have experiences of the divine that they can recall and remember and, and speak about. And I think as we grow older, sometimes we close that side of us down a little bit or we compartmentalize. So for me, being with young people is really being close to the Spirit of God and feeling my own spirit nurtured. So that's why I keep doing it after all these decades. I hear in what you're saying there, the scripture passage from Isaiah, a little child shall lead them. Yes, and that is so true for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wonder what that, I mean, what does leadership from youth and young adults look like when in the United Church? Well, um, one of the projects that we're doing right now is Youth Forum. One piece of the work that we're doing with um, a group of 40 interns is um, they're working on passion projects. And so they're taking some of the um, social justice uh, initiatives named in our strategic objectives and they're developing projects to help teach the church about um, climate justice, about indigenous justice, about anti-racism and racial justice, and about LGBTQ uh, 2IS and gender justice. So, you know, I think young people are so passionate about um, learning and about expressing what they've learned that um, we're going to end the summer with this body of 40 projects by young people that are related to our strategic justice uh, initiatives in the church. 2020 was um, a year when we were supposed to hold rendezvous 
in Calgary. Um, we had been preparing for a year and a half to have an event. There was a local team that was getting ready to welcome everyone. There was the design team that had um, already uh, contracted with leaders and space. And um, so we made the very difficult decision um, to go to an online rendezvous. Um, of course, it wasn't the same as being together in person. The energy wasn't the same. But we just felt it was so important in that summer of 2020 when there were so many opportunities that were canceled to, to have something to bless uh, the lives of young people. Um, so we had our keynote speakers, we had um, engaging worship, and we had workshops and home groups all online yeah. in 2020. So we, we tried to keep uh, that going. If you were to be able to sort of reach through you know, and speak to those donors about the ways in which lives are changed, um, what would you want, to, want them to know? I would want them to know that they make a difference, that they are creating the next generation of leaders in the church, and even beyond the church. Many of the young people that um, are engaged in our ministries, you know, maybe someday they won't be part of the United Church, but they will still be making an impact. And when you think back on the stories of lives changed by mission and service funds and the youth and young adults ministry, is there a, a, a face, a story that sort of stands out for you that um, of, of, a, of a young person whose life was changed by the gift of mission and service? It's hard to, to just choose one because I right. think so many have um, been affected. Um, I, I'm thinking of a young woman um, who, I believe it was in 2011, went on one of our Youth for Peace trips to Israel and Palestine. It was not an easy experience for her. She, since that time, has become a minister in the United Church. And right now, she's preparing to go to the World Council of Churches, where she will have a significant leadership role in um, our ecumenical work around the world. So, you know, there were many times in her life and journey when mission and service supported her, and now she's giving back so much to the United Church and to uh, the church in the world. And if there was something you would want to say to the donors, if you had a donor here to mission and service that you'd want them to know, what would that be? Be generous. Um, it's going to better the lives of people in the church and beyond the church in Canada and beyond. And it's also going to make you feel so good. Generosity is a spiritual gift and it nurtures the giver as much as the receiver. So um, giving to m is is a joy. Your gift for Mission and Service will help inspire and support youth programming and engagement.